Today, we are taking a deep dive into the magical world of the hippopotamus. You are man. fucking, you are fucking, you fucking, fucking, you bloody, you bloody, fuck you bloody, bastard bitch, you, you fuck, fuck you, fuck. But these fat fucks are heckin' dangerous. So we're using this cheap toy from Timu to spy on them. Here is the view from the birth canal. Simply riveting. His controller was made by Ocean Gate. That is why he keeps drifting. As you can see, Spy Hippo is given a warning from Botus for intruding on his personal space. Unlike my father, who would have gotten his belt ready immediately. Ear wiggling is shown as a sign of confidence in the hippo community, similar to how white people greet each other in the streets. Interesting fact, most hippos are polyamorous, just like that one cousin who's not invited to grandma's Christmas dinners anymore. Henceforth, hippo gangs have a ratio of one male leader to as many bitches as possible. Think of it as the sister wives of the hippo community. In order to make Spy Hippo visually attractive to the other hippos, Timu hooked our boy up with the double-cheeked up Kim Kardashian dump truck special. Just like your mother, hippos are so fucking fat that they're not buoyant enough in water to swim. Instead, they sink to the bottom of the riverbed and run, still burning more calories than you. These bobs are similar to underwater clinics used to clean infections on hippos. Just like Monica Lewinsky, the fish here like to suck every surface off the hippo. But they don't give happy endings like that time I had in Thailand. <coughs> I would still choose to be a dead hippo in a swamp full of crocs as opposed to a child at Diddy's house. As you can clearly tell, the dead hippo's shaft was the reason he was targeted. Hippos and crocs tend to live together in harmony. But just like Jeffrey Dahmer, the crocs will take a chance to nibble off a dead one whenever they can. And would you look at that? The mother arrives just in time to protect her young from these ferocious reptiles. No! God, please, no! 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 And if there's anyone on this planet that can be this close to apex predators that are ready to kill them, it will be the white woman. Hey, bro, do you think it's safe to drink this water? Yeah, bro, of course. Go ahead. I'll, uh, I'll catch up next to you. One common similarity between hippos and Lizzo is that they're both... vegan. This mother is bringing her new calf to meet her old hippo pod, and her son is not happy she left him. Huh? Huh? Uh. It really do be the ones closest to you that come after you in the long run. You know what they say, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Do not worry, son. I will protect you. Thank you so much, Mom. I love you so much. She can't save you. I'm watching you from every corner. Best sleep with your one eye open. Hippos are land animals, but since they've been cursed with weak skin, they have to stay in the water to avoid the big scary sun. Pussies. Luckily for them, their skin secretes a reddish oil that acts as 10 SPF sunscreen when they have to venture on land. Botus is big mad that the lions are occupying his watering hole. His second favorite hole. Botus decides to take action into his own hands. No! It seems to have worked. Botus is able to quench his thirst. Just like your mother, hippos are so fat that their movements make way for new river terminals to form. Entire species are dependent on where hippos walk to ensure they get enough water supply throughout the year. Who has the most riz? These hippos are fighting for some gyat and there's only one way to do it. Unfortunately, our boy Botus loses the match and is forced to watch as his rival bangs his bitch. <laughs> I 
After a devastating loss, Botis crushes a Perk 30 and knocks himself out for a few weeks. Upon waking, he is surprised that there is now a drought. I think Moto Moto likes you. Oh, here he comes. I like him big. I like him chunky, yeah. I Botis stumbles upon a body of water, but unfortunately, it's occupied by a bunch of tubby buddies. Because of their whole polygamous situation, Botis will need to square up with the thick boy in charge if he wants to get his dick wet. If I were Botis, I would tuck my shit to avoid the altercation. But Botis tests his luck. Botus realizes quite quickly that he in fact shouldn't have fucked around and found out. Oh hell no! He has to retreat to the other side of the water. The females continue to mock Botus until he decided to leave the river. He continued to go further and further away until he could find another E. coli filled river. Botus has found the only other water source in the drought, but there's some fierce competition. The pelicans have swooped their asses in because all the fish are stuck in a small pool of water. The hippos are used as beach chairs for the birds. The pelicans start slurping down the fish that are stuck. Even though many of these fish are diseased, spitters are quitters, so they must carry on. Botus becomes increasingly overstimulated and has no more perkies to calm him down. There is only one thing to do, a tantrum. Botus knows he needs to curb stomp a bitch. Botus has finally found an animal that he can win against in a fight. 